ओम अज्ञानतिमीराजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदातस्वामीनाम नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर In this session, we'll be discussing from two verses, the 16th and the 17th verses of the 19th chapter of the first canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam. The 16th verse is as follows: Punascha bhuyad bhagavatyanante rati prasangascha tad ashrayeshu. महत्सु याम याम उपयामी सृष्टि मैत्रियस्तु सर्वत्र नमो द्विजेभ्य दि मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्सेस अगेन ऑफरिंग ओबीसेंसेस अन टू ऑल यू ब्राह्मणस आई प्रे दैट इफ आई शुड अगेन टेक माय बर्थ इन द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड i will have complete attachment to the unlimited lord krishna association with his devotees and friendly relations with all living beings so parikshit is uh, speaking to the assembled sages great sages great saintly personalities from all over the universe have assembled there to witness parikshit quitting his body because parikshit is a your devotee therefore they come to witness that event but parikshit is taking a humble position and he offers his obeisances to all the brahmanas assembled there and he prays that if at all he takes birth again in the material world he desires three things what are the three things one is that he will have complete attachment to the unlimited lord krishna the second thing he desires is association with krishna's devotees and the third thing he desires is friendly relation with all living beings so shri la prabhupada explains in the purport these three points shri la prabhupada says that a devotee of the lord is the only perfect living being explained herein by maharaj parikshit of all the different categories of people in this world material world the devotee is the only perfect living being why because of certain qualifications shri prabhupad says a devotee of the lord is no one's enemy although there may be many enemies of a devotee what does this mean uh, yudhishthira had no enemy he had no enmity with anybody including duryodhana but duryodhana considered yudhishthir maharaj as his enemy so this is the position of a devotee Further, Shri La Prabhupad says, a devotee of the Lord does not like to associate with non-devotees, although he has no enmity with them. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, the characteristic of a Vaishnava is uh, asat sangatyag a Vaishnava achar. So one category of asat. Asat means those who are materially attached. One category of asat is non-devotee, Krishna abhakta. 
and another category of asat is stri sangi those who are simply <coughs> attached to objects of sense gratification stri sangi so a devotee does not like to associate with non devotees he always wants association of other devotees so shila propa says further he desires that is a devotee desires association with the devotees of the lord this is perfectly natural because birds of the same feather mix together naturally a devotee is inclined to do devotional service hear about and glorify the supreme lord always so he would like to be in the association of other like minded persons who are devotees like him and the most important function of a devotee is to have complete attachment for lord shri krishna the father of all living beings devotee perfectly understands krishna is the supreme father of everyone as a good son of the father behaves in a friendly way with all his other brothers so also the devotee of the lord being a good son of the supreme father lord krishna sees all other living beings in relation with the supreme father why is it that a devotee has no enmity with anyone because he sees everyone irrespective of their present condition everyone is part and parcel of krishna everyone is a good son of the supreme lord krishna but presently some of them are forgetful of krishna he tries to bring back the upstart sons of the father to a saner stage it's insanity to forget krishna to be independent of krishna uh, to uh, disobey krishna's instructions it's insane insane so he, a devotee preaches in such a way that somebody may become sane and also his preaching is meant to get them to accept the supreme fatherhood of god maharaj parikshit was certainly going back to godhead but even if he were not to go back he prayed for a pattern of life which is the most perfect way in the material world how to live in this world perfectly if at all somebody uh, wants to live like a devotee so shrila propa says a pure devotee does not desire the company of a personality as great as brahma but he prefers the association of a petty living being provided that petty living being is a devotee of the law so a devotee desires association of other devotees now the other devotees material position doesn't matter doesn't matter that's not important just important is the fact that they are devotees the 17th verse itisma raja adhyavasaya yuktaha prachina muleshu kusheshu dhiraha udanmukho dakshina kula aste samudra patya swasuta nesta bharaha the meaning of this 17th verse is in perfect self control maharaj parikshit sat down on a seat of straw with straw roots facing the east placed on the southern bank of the ganges and he himself faced the north just previously he had given charge of his kingdom over to his son this means parikshit completely renounced 
all connections with his wealth, with his family, with his uh, uh, possessions, everything. But responsibly, he did hand over charge of ruling the world to his worthy son. So, in the purport, Srila Prabhupada says, the river Ganges is celebrated as the wife of the sea. This is a, a, a description in the scriptures. The river always goes, goes and joins the sea. River flows from where it starts uh, and goes on flowing, flowing, flowing till it joins the sea. So, in that sense, the river Ganga is celebrated as the wife of the sea. Hmm. Uh, here, Samudra Patnya, that is referring to uh, the Ganges, the wife of the sea. The seat of Kusha straw is considered to be sanctified if the straw is taken out of the earth complete with root and if the root is pointed toward the east, it is considered to be auspicious. That means, Parikshit is preparing himself to go back to Godhead with all auspicious conditions favoring his going back to God. Facing the north is still more favorable for attaining spiritual success. Though as a pure devotee, he is not dependent on all these arrangements, but taking a humble position, he adopts all the necessities required for going back to Godhead. Maharaj Parikshit handed over the charge of administration to his son before leaving home. You see, the Vedic culture, the Varnashrama system, the administration is carried out by the Kshatriyas, qualified Kshatriyas. The Brahmanas are intelligent persons who are learned in the uh, scriptures, but they do not occupy the post of the administrator or the king. They give guidance to everyone else in the society, including the king, the Kshatriyas, the Vaishyas, the Shudras, everyone for their spiritual success in life and also guides them in maintaining themselves by appropriately carrying out some occupational activities. So, Brahmana is the perfect guide for everyone in the society. The Kshatriyas are meant to do administration. So, Parikshit Maharaj is ruling perfectly when he was given charge by Yudhishthira, his grandfather. When the Pandavas retired timely, they handed over charge to Parikshit. They had uh, trained up Parikshit before they could uh, hand over charge. Similarly, Parikshit had trained his son Janamejaya. And Janamejaya took charge after Parikshit retired, renouncing the kingdom. So, Srila Prabhupada concludes by telling, Parikshit was thus fully equipped for all favorable conditions in order to go back to Godhead. That is the ultimate success of the human form of life. That one may simply aim uh, to go back to Godhead after quitting the present body. And that is what Krishna teaches in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh,
पुनर्जन्म नैति मा मेति सो अर्जुन त्यक्वा देहम पुनर्जन्म नैति मा मेति सो अर्जुन सो दट इज दर्फेक्शन ऑफ द ह्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ एज कृष्ण से भगवदगीता आई स्टॉप हियर थैंक यू वेरी मच हरे कृष्ण